Good morning, everybody. I am Sharon Wilcox, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming live to you from Chesapeake, Virginia. We're going to have the best of lighting today. Let me see. I've got the shades pulled. I should have looked at this before I came in, right? But I didn't, so there you go. How's that? That's all right. You don't need to see me anyways. Um, well, but we need to see the desktop, so. Oh well, that's how it's gonna be this morning. Um, I hope everybody's had a nice week or so. Uh, as you know, last week I wasn't here live because I was in Vegas with my daughters and daughter-in-law, and it was hot, and I didn't get quite as much sleep as I would like. Um, but that's always the way it is when you're traveling. First of all, I don't sleep well when I travel, um, you know, and I'm not with John. When I'm, it's him and I, we usually sleep pretty good, but not important here this morning. I just want to say welcome. Today is July the, what is it, the 13th? I should know that. 2023 and um, July the 15th, which is Saturday, will be my oldest daughter's birthday. So, happy birthday to Tammy. Whether you're joining me now or you're joining me later um, on the rerun, um, thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. As I said, I didn't get a lot of sleep, so um, even though I got home late Monday night, I am still tired and exhausted. So, I'm um, trying to catch up on my sleep. Uh, I got a few things I want to show you this morning and... Today, what I want to show you is for the Avid Stamper, the Beginner Stamper, and everything in between. And if you are into scrapbooking or you would like to get into scrapbooking, this is the best stuff. I'm just saying, the best. So let me hop down here to my desktop and let's get to let's get this show on the road. Here we go. Okay, I am on page 134 of the catalog, an idea book. And you will see on this page, it's called Memories and More and Even More. And that is so true. Um, this is designed, and let me see if I can zoom in over here. Mm, zoom, zoom, zoom. Not sure. Even though I have my glasses on, I'm having a hard time seeing because everything else. My eyes are a little tired too. Okay, I'm going to go this way. There we go. That's better. All right, so right up here on page 135, you're going to see this called Bright and Beautiful Memories and More Card Pack. Now, a lot of people just kind of overlooked at these, but look at this. For $8.50, you're going to get 50 um, total double-sided cards that are three by four and four by six. All right. And there's four sticker sheets. I know. I remember the days when we didn't use the word sticker because it was so much mm, sold by another um, home-based company that did scrapbooking. And they are no longer around. I do not believe. But that's not important. But what I wanted to show you are these. They are amazing. That's what that pack looks like. And I'm going to show you the opened one of what I have left. The other thing here that I want you to look at are the Bright and Beautiful Memories More cards and envelopes. Okay. You're going to get 20 cards, card bases front and back, and envelopes for 11 dollars another amazing bargain in my mind i think it's a great deal now these are designed to use to create cards fast quick and easy cards or you can use them with the six by eight photo album so if you're into scrapbooking or you want to get into it this is a beautiful size i wish i had one here to show you i have some of the older ones that we have, but not in the six by eight size. So I'll, I'll have to pick one of those up. 
The variety packs are the sheet protectors. And these, you have a full one, you have some that are two, and these cards will fit right down into the pockets so that you can put your photo. And here's a really good example on this page. Can you see that? This is the sheet protector, and this one is two. And they just slid the cards right down in there. And down here they have their pictures and they even mounted them on some of the um, little cards. So really a fun, fun thing, whether you are, uh, let's see if I can zoom out of here a little bit. Um, an avid stamper, you can change these into so much more, or if you are a scrapbooker. So that's in the idea book and catalog. So let me show you what these look like. And the cards, you're going to get 10 bases that are this um, variated pink. It goes from the very lightest to the darkest. And the cards are bigger than typical. Um, they're bigger than normal and they're really nice thick card stock as well. And then the envelopes, they are all the same and they are just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? That in itself just makes me happy. The other card that you get in here is this one, this card base, which is just gorgeous as well. Isn't that beautiful? You could use them just as they are, but they're designed to go with the memories and more um, card pack. So let me show you some of those. Now this is just a partial what I didn't use and you can see I still have a ton left and you can see the colors are bright and vibrant and gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The fun thing about these is that they're double-sided of course. So you're going to have all of these, a bunch of them that's going to have words, and then the other side will be blank. So you could use either or of those. Um, you see how that works? Just beautiful. I just love these. Look at this one. You can do this. Good times. Today will be great. Congratulations. Hello, lovely, and best wishes. You could use that as one card, or you could literally cut those apart and use those, you know, each one on a card. Um, this one, well, pretty. This side has your words. Fun times, good friends, great memories. Just love it. Let's celebrate something amazing. So each side... Um, not everyone has words, but each side has something different. So just absolutely beautiful. And you can you get the idea here. Okay. All right. Oh, and there are some frames too. So let me show you. And then these, this is what I have of the big ones. Um, might have some more, but I think I used the rest of the big ones. But they are the same way. Some of them have words on one side and not on the other, but they have beautiful graphics on them. Just gorgeous. I love this one. I'm going to uh, use this one. You can do it. And then, so anyways, just beautiful, fun. And then these are the sticker sheets. You can see I pulled out some of the stickers and used them. Oh, you get two sheets of this one and two sheets of this one. So that's two different packs. One is $8.50, the other is $11. And I think they're of really good value if you're looking for that. And these envelopes and cards are just so nice. Now, let me show you what I did with them real quick and easy. Actually, let me just create a card here real quick for you while I got all of this up. And now just to show you how fun, and I, I'm going to use this one. We could pick out anything here. Oh, that's the one I wanted to use right there. So, and look at this. We can just put that right there. Isn't that beautiful? And 
If you want to, you could add some ribbon. This ribbon coordinates with it. It's the sheer ribbon combo in the catalog. And right there is the number. And you're going to get the yellow, the blue, and the pink. And look at those. I'll bring that up closer to the camera. Oops. So you can see they've got this little thread of gold on the edges. Just beautiful. And I think I'm going to pull out this one. And why not? Let's put a little bit of ribbon on this. So you can just tie a simple little bow or you could leave it. And we'll see if we like our little bow. If we don't, then we just take it off. That's pretty, pretty simple. So let me put this on here. Most of the time I do like to have a little bow or a little ribbon. The other thing that they have that coordinates with all of this is um, our, our double, not our double sided, but our, our tinsel gems. So you'll see this one says three pack. It just means there's three different colors, not three packages in there. This one's called four pack. So there's four different colors in there. So this one has the yellows, the pinks, blues, and the greens. This one has, I think this is a grayish color. It could be more blue. And then your um, more light lavender and then the light green here. So these are all each sold separately. But we got our little ribbon down here trim up our ends. I like little ends here. Okay. And then I think I'll pop that up with some dimensionals. You could just leave it, um, lay it flat if you would like, but I think in this case, I'm just going to pop it up with a few dimensionals and just to give it a little um, interest there. And then I think we'll bring in a one of the stickers. We'll look through those and see if there's a sticker. I'm going to put this fairly centered on here. Let's see, right about there. All right, and now let's see, let's party. So let's see what we like. We could add another balloon. Well, this is cute, yay you, way to go. All of these are, are really adorable, to be quite honest. Um, let's go, how about if we just add a couple of stars? I love the stars. We'll pick up a star here, maybe add one right up here, and then we got this little, this one here. Oh, I pulled that one off without its sticker, these little ones. There we go. Right here. And we can bring in our um, little stencil things too. Let's see. Oh, those are all cute. Okay, so then we can bring in these. And I like the brighter pink ones. And just bring in, and there's different sizes on here. Can you see that? Yeah, there's different sizes. So let's add a couple of these in a couple different colors. Put that off there. Maybe even a green, a smaller one in the green. I probably should be using the, um, the putty in. That makes it much easier. Look at that. Fast and simple. Now let's mount that on a card and decide... Well, the rainbow one is, you know, the right one for this without a doubt. 
I kept my little bone holder here. Give that a good crease. The inside of these cards are blank, so you can decorate them however you would like. Look at how pretty that is. So we're going to add our adhesive to the back. And a little bit here and a little bit there. And it's really that simple to create fast and easy and cute cards. Now, have you noticed the one element that's missing on this card? There's no stamping. I know. It's so hard to believe that you can create beautiful cards like this without stamping. But that's what makes this so wonderful for everybody. Whether you're a beginner or you're an avid, you can really dress it up and make it whatever you want. On the inside, you can use some of these. Let's use a little... Um, this one's really cute. It says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll stick that one in here as well. Let's just put it down here. Because this is kind of more like a let's party, like an invitation. And so that's how I would use that. And then look at up here, all of these beautiful stars. I got a whole grouping of them. And there is a um, little white piece here that we need to poke out some of the background. All righty. And then we can put that in here as well. And then you can write your information on the inside. Fast, easy. I absolutely love these memories and more. Let me show you a few other cards that I've done. This is this one. And I take the, took the stars, popped them up with some dimensionals to add a little interest to that. I did not do anything to the inside of any of them. And then of course we have, you know, all of these envelopes that go with each and every card. Well, how fun is that to get in the mail? Really? This one, I took the card that was a frame and just cut out the center with my paper cutter and layered it on top of another one. I saw this idea um, from Jill Olson and I thought it was absolutely adorable. Jill Olson is my up, up line. Here's another one. You take one of these cards and just cut it in half. Let me see if I can find like even this one, and you cut it in half. These are three by four. So if you cut it this way, it would be um, two <clears throat> in the center, but I did it this direction. So it was one and a half is where you cut, and then you have a frame on each side. This one, I just layered it. You're seriously the best. A little bit of ribbon on this one as well. And you can see how fast and easy these are. Love this one. Same concept except for this is a full sheet. I could have cut that, but I chose to just to leave it as a full sheet. If I had cut it, I would have this uh, three by four piece. Um, the other thing that I see a lot of people do is literally cut these pieces apart and use them and it'll make your packet go farther. But if you're giving this to somebody, teenagers would love this. Um, I would make a wonderful gift. But if you're doing that, then you need to, um, uh, as a teenager, as a gift, just give it to them as it is with some adhesive. But if you wanted to make this go a lot farther for yourself, then you could bring in some of your card stock and do some layering and stuff like that with the different colors and give, I mean, you could come up with thousands of ideas with these if you brought in some of your own card stock and cut some of these down smaller and things like that. So what do you think about this? If you have memories and more, I would love to see some of your samples. I would love to see what you're doing. Give me just a second here. 
I would love to see what you made with them and um, whether it's this memories or more or a different one. So let me know what you've done with these. And um, until next week, have a wonderful, happy week and do something fun for yourself. And happy stamping, everybody.